Do not buy 12 Tribes on Earth hair growth oil and hair magic elixir unless you want super healthy, gorgeous hair that grows. They have a whole line of amazing hair growth products, including hair growth leave-in conditioner spray, hair growth shampoo, hair growth spray, and hair growth butter. I'm starting to sense a theme here. They include quality natural ingredients. They smell amazing. And you can see the results for yourself. So if you're looking for healthy hair growth for your natural or relaxed hair, try 12 Tribes on Earth today. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we got smoke-filled air. And actually, I'm feeling the effects of it. I had to go out with my packages you know all of the orders from my customers and i was fine all morning and even part of the afternoon so i had to go out with the packages and when i came back in i got a tickle in my throat and now i'm also feeling the effects i'm feeling a little congested and i was wondering what was going on so Smoke from Canada is covering a big portion of the East Coast and part of the Midwest. I'm going to show you a map of the coverage. It's more than half of the country, you know, and it just moved in because when I woke up this morning, it was bright, sunny skies out there. And now everything is overcast. And I know that's not overcast that is smoke this is the skyline of new york city and this is what it looked like this morning and they said it's going to be bad between 11 a.m to 11 p.m and then it should start subsiding so y'all this is not good especially for people with respiratory problems because it's not just smoke it's smoke dust, and Sahara Desert sand all mixed together. That's what it is. So if you're feeling a little strange, that's probably why. And there's a lot of chemicals and pollutants in the smoke, you know, because they use all of those things to try to put the fire out. But it just seems like now I guess this is going to be a yearly occurrence because we had this issue Last year, in 2024, we had this issue. And I remember one time we went out, you literally could see the smoke and smell it in the air. So, y'all, if you have children or you yourself have respiratory problems or any of your family members, be careful. Because they're advising people with asthma and other respiratory issues to stay indoors. If you have an air purifier, turn it on. This is the time to have it on. So let's get into this story. Eastern U.S. is shrouded in smoke and dust. Smoke from Canadian wildfires and desert dust from the Sahara are creating unhealthy air quality from New York City to Miami. Wildfire smoke from Canada and plumes of desert dust from the Sahara are smothering large portions of the United States, creating hazy skies and hazardous air quality from the Northeast to the Southeast. The National Weather Service issued air quality alerts on Wednesday for New York City and many surrounding areas, including New Jersey and most of Connecticut. Officials said that those more sensitive to air pollution should limit going outdoors and watch for respiratory symptoms from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency warns that wildfire smoke contains dangerous pollutants in the form of fine particles known as PM2.5 that can penetrate deep into the lungs and enter the bloodstream. Short-term exposure can lead to bronchitis, worsen asthma, and create other health issues. 
Several air quality warnings were also in effect in Western Canada for areas around the fires in that part of the country, with smoke billowing toward northwest Ontario. The smoke from the Canadian wildfires moved south and passed over the Midwest on Tuesday. Air quality alerts remained in effect on Wednesday morning across Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Ohio. Mark Chenard, a meteorologist at the Weather Prediction Center, said that satellite imagery shows a broad swath of smoke still covering the eastern United States on Wednesday. The smoke stretches from northern Georgia to New England and into parts of the upper Midwest. A lot of it is aloft, but there's still some getting down to the surface, Mr. Chenard said. Air quality readings in cities including Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Columbus, Ohio, were at very unhealthy levels between 100 and 140 early Wednesday morning, according to the New York Times Air Quality Tracker. The index's scale runs from 0 to 500. The higher the number, the more polluted the air. Those levels were an improvement from Tuesday when both St. Paul and Minneapolis had registered readings of 226 in the morning. Above 200, the air is considered very unhealthy and risky for everyone. In Iowa, an air quality alert issued by the state's Department of Natural Resources was expected to remain in effect through Thursday morning, according to the Weather Service. Air pollution was expected to remain at unhealthy levels for sensitive groups and possibly healthy people too, with residents advised to limit outdoor activities until the air quality improves. An air quality alert for much of Minnesota remained in effect through noon on Wednesday, according to the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. The alert for some areas was expected to reach the red category, which signals it can be dangerous for everyone, the agency said. As northern states were dealing with smoke, a large plume of Saharan dust crossed the Atlantic Ocean and was expected to spread over Gulf Coast states through Thursday. Mr. Chenard said the dust had reached parts of Florida by Wednesday morning and was expected to intensify. The highest concentrations of the dust is definitely going to be through today and tonight, he said on Wednesday. But there will be some at least lower concentrations that linger over Florida, probably into the weekend. Although smoke and dust could overlap in some areas of the South, Mr. Chenard said it's more likely that smoke will clear as the dust arrives. They're both being moved by the same wind, he said. As the dust moves into Florida, the smoke is expected to push north out of Florida. Okay, y'all, this is another picture from today. So stay safe if you don't have to be out there for long periods of time. Don't be out there for long periods of time. Try to avoid that. And hopefully the skies will be more clear tomorrow than they are today. So ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think about this story in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.